Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Mundo here in season 14. We're playing him in the top lane. As a top laner, he's pretty underpicked at the moment. You see him more in the jungle position. For your best runes possible, take grass with turret demolish, second wind or bone plating with overgrowth, free boots, approach. Approach is important for landing cleaver and speeding up off of it in enemy champs with attack speed and double health. We have double scaling HP here. Pretty much every game you should invade on Mundo, he has decent enough base HP, plus with his cleaver, it makes him an extremely dangerous. Like, look at that. We got the slow already. We're going to get this guy's flash. Or just he's dead. He's not going to flash. Like, that's perfect. This was a no-brainer for invade because their AD carry does not have lethal tempo, and ours does. Plus, we have Mundo Q. It's a no-brainer, plus Thresh Glacial Augment. There's very few games where you're not going to invade on Mundo, so that's the first thing. The second thing is Mundo's laning phase is terrible. He's mostly defensive until level 6, and then his other massive power spike is Heart Still. Once you're level 6 and have Heart Still, you've basically won the game assuming you're not already super far behind. So that's what we're playing for early on. It's mainly just farming, a little bit of poke with Q, farming with Q, farming with E's. It's that simple. The main champion you should avoid playing against is Vayne. Vayne you can't play against. She does max health true damage on her auto, so don't play against that. Just ban Vayne. Up against Aatrox, not a good matchup. It's technically Aatrox favored, but as long as we don't die, it's whatever. We don't want to push early. There's very few top lane matchups you can actually all into the death. And Aatrox is not one of them. It would be another tank top laner that you could all into the death with your cleavers doing max health damage and whatnot. But against non-tank top laners, absolutely do not push early on. I'll give up a minion there to keep my health up. That's worth it to me. Now that his Q's on cooldown, we'll step forward with a grass bottle. There we go. Since we know his Q's on cooldown, if we can trade it with a grass bottle, that's huge for us. We can cleaver this. Perfect. We're all, all in all, we're minimizing how much damage we're taking while still getting decent last hits in. That's the goal. Got him with the grass bottle, not bad. Missed the Q. His Q is going to be back up at this point. We'll step off to the side. Oof, we don't want to pick this up for the health back. Not even that bad of a trade for us, to be honest. We traded off HP well. My grass is back up again with the cleaver. Auto E, got W on. Goes back in for the minion. He, I think he might have missed cannon there. I wasn't really looking. Boop. He blocks my cleaver. We gotta sidestep that. We got a grasp up. We'll hit him with it in E. And then walk away. Looks like E is mid. There you go, buddy. He already used his potion, so we're actually pretty far ahead of him. I'll go ahead and use mine. We want to match HP so we don't get dove. He's really looking to chip some health off of us here. Oof, missed the cleaver. We'll splash this into him. Auto E reset. Get down damage quickly. We'll save cleaver for this guy. Boop. We are up CS on him too. I'm missing a lot of health. We'll go ahead and ward behind us to make sure we don't get dove. We'll save W. Get a lot of healing back whenever we take damage with our W on. Auto Q. Auto E. And we should get this one still. Nice, nice, nice. So we are up CS. Pretty big. Not sure where he's at. I think he might be going. Oh, okay, no, he's, he's just kind of walking around. He's very gankable here. He's low. If our jungler comes over here. For sure, it's doable, I think. Oh, we're dead. That's unfortunate. I'll go ahead and TP back. He did burn flash and ignite. That is something you want to avoid is getting caught in an all in. Although we can take things slow and out trade him and out farm him. <coughs> Once you find yourself in that position. Now he's in a weird spot because he has ignite and doesn't have TP. I will build up a pretty big CS lead here. There's not much he can do about that. I'll just catch him when he tries to recall again. He doesn't have TP. He took the ignite for the cheese. Something we needed to put a little bit more emphasis on. So he's trying to decide, should I pack, should I not? He's not sure if his wave's going to push, but it is because I'm going to let it do that. I'm only going to do last hits here. He has firm minion advantage. My grasp is up. We'll just walk into him here. 
Auto E reset and a Q. All in all, pretty good trade for him considering I have item advantage. It's just how it goes for Mundo. Auto E reset. Yeah, he's actually coming ahead on these trades even with less items. That's wild. We desperately need our uh, our items. He's trying to trade heavy here. He's about to hit six, I think. Yep. There it is. He's got to play slow. He might be behind us for the dive. Yep. Got him with a Q. Just got to kite him out. He's dead. We need to get the turret. I'm on my R. Atrox doesn't have gold spent. They lose here. Auto E. They wanted to dive us so badly, they threw the whole game off that. If Aatrox had spent gold, which wasn't possible since he ran Ignite for the cheese, then that, that play they made would have made a lot more sense. But since he hadn't done that, even though he's a kill up on us, it means absolutely nothing if he doesn't spend the gold. That cost them huge. Absolutely enormous. Go ahead and push this real quick. Whenever our E kills something, it does splash damage, so we can just slide that through the whole wave. Get things uh, pushing real quick. Now that the wave's gonna crash, we know we have a true reset. We can come back to lane, not worry about it being frozen or having weird minions and weird spots. Just a good way to reset. And we're gonna buy a controller. People get stressed out a lot when they die in lane because they feel like the game's over, but there's certain aspects of it make it much more doable. For example, the fact that he had Ignite add TP, I could come back to lane with item advantage. If he reset at that point, because a lot of you might say, why not just, he should back. He has gold, he's missing half health, he should back. <coughs> the problem is, since he had minion advantage, he would have essentially missed two and a half, three waves of minions <coughs> in terms of gold and XP. So he was in a tough spot. He kind of needed his jungler to come and help him shove wave. He didn't have flash, he was very gankable, and he hadn't spent gold. And that's annoying. Pick that up, miss my cleaver. Can definitely see why this is not Mundo favored. At least early game, it's very Aatrox favored. He can knock our passive off, which does a lot of damage to us when people knock that if we're not able to pick it up. We'll take net massive damage. He's missing, I think he's invading Bran. Yeah. I have minions I need to farm, so this is awkward timing for me. Oof, cool, my controller didn't make it in bush. Nice, got my normal word in there at least. It's back over here. He's over here, what the heck? It's a really bad timing since we had minions underneath our turret. I have ghost, he's on tier two boots. There's a cleaver, auto E with my W on. There's the double Q, need to finish. Oh, they're both just screwed, well, well played by the Lux room. <laughs> Since they don't have jungler, Branch should be able to take those for free. His passive applies on uh, the void bugs. The explosion, he can just chain it. We're stacking up, man. We're almost at heart still. Once you're at heart still, you can solo pretty much every matchup in the game other than Vayne. Bork is an issue because it does max health damage on every single auto attack. So some Bork champions like Irelia or Jax, if they play it properly, they can still take great trades against you. But as a whole, once you have hearts still, assuming you're, you haven't been dying a lot in lane, you're just gone somewhat neutral with them. It puts them in a, a horrible position. This is where Mundo gets incredibly out of hand. There you go, buddy. There goes all your health. <laughs> he lost 600 HP off two cleavers. It's not on cannon wave, so not in the most optimal back, but it's, it's hard still. Even if I miss a wave of minions, it's kind of worth I'll buy, not gonna buy a controller because I already have one right here, even if it's in a trash spot. They may think it's in the bush since it's touching the bush and it should count as in the bush. He gets a shutdown, that sucks. He doesn't have many people to focus because the Thresh Flay, it's hard for him to get on Thresh. Whoever goes on Thresh Lanterns, there's the Zaya R. Brand Lux can get Zonis if they really want to, and then we have Tank Mundo, so 
he doesn't have easy targets to reset off of. With that being said, their team's going even with us right now. I have heart still. He's not. He doesn't have a full item, so I definitely win trades. But I'm hesitant to take the trades on his if he's on his minion wave. It just doesn't make a lot of sense then. Auto E. Reactivate our W. If we're touching someone with our W circle, when it goes off against champions, we get a lot more healing. So if I, if we have to choose when to end our W, we want to do it when we're still touching an enemy champion. It also heals you for a lot more damage initially. It's like in the first half a second. For the, I don't know why League does this. They do a lot of three quarter seconds, 0.75 seconds. That's where it, it absorbs the most. You store 87% of the damage you take in the first three quarter second, which is almost 100% conversion. Your W cast timings is very important. Did he get first dragon? We have the wave and a freeze. We don't need to push it, although we can do a lot with turret demolish. I'm more focused on playing around heart still here and taking smart trades because we're gankable. If you're shoved up on Mundo, he's not. Okay, we see where he is. We're fine. I take it back. He's, he's over there. He's coming towards top lane now. He does not have a full item though, so if Brand plays it smart, Brand should win. Auto E, got my W on. I'm going to go ahead and R early. Auto Q. It's good to Q in between autos, catch him off guard. Auto E. Alright, we got Brett. We just gotta kite this out. That's all. We're full items in Yin. Aatrox aren't. We're at a big advantage here. It's good to use cleavers in between your autos. The enemies don't see it coming as much as you just raw walking at them with a and they wait for you to cleaver. So it's good to pressure them with auto attacks to help set up the cleaver. I think E's nearby, so we just gotta play this slow. Got him with a cleaver there. Got him with another cleaver. Gonna bop. Bop. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. They got so greedy for those minions. They needed to just get the heck out of there. Like I said, this is where Mundo gets scary. If he hasn't died more than once solo in lane, he makes it to heart still. This is where his snowballing, his W scaling off his HP, his E scaling off his HP, his R scaling off his HP, his passive scaling off his HP. We're going to have a lot of HP. Sundered Sky is extremely good for that since it's a free crit. I wouldn't recommend going Sundered Sky too early though. I think third item at the soonest is fine. Second item should be geared uh, more. Why aren't they starting that? What the heck? Second item should be geared more towards Hollow Radius or Sunfire. An AoE burn item, which also scales based on your HP. Auto and E. Oh yeah, he's in a bad spot. That Lux Shield was insane. That Lux Shield was really freaking good. She lined it up perfectly. We'll go ahead, back off, and get tier 2 boots. They are very physical damage, auto attack heavy. The Aatrox, E, and Aphelios, so it's a plated steel cap angle into Sunfire. If they're magic damage heavy, obviously you'd be looking for Merc Treads and Hollowed Radiance, because Hollowed Radiance is the magic resist version of Sunfire. Got the Q. Auto E. Q auto. He traded off well there, but we did get our... Uh, we got what we wanted. The heart still. We're permanently stacking our HP, which is making all of our abilities do more. Except for Q. Q doesn't do anything based off of our HP. It does more the healthier they are. I'm going to have to group on this next drag fight. Don't really know where Yi's at. I assume he's kind of in the area. Heart still should be back up. It's about a 30 second cooldown. Yep. Lock him down. Boop. Missed it. Auto E Q. Missed the Q. I assume he has Ignite is what's going on here. I'm just going to leave. He took a few good trades. He's not even a full item, but he is hard winning that. He's bot side. He does have a full item. He's got Bork here. <laughs> got Bork tier 2 boots. 
my heart stills back up we might actually be able to win the solo fight on this guy i just don't think there's a reason to push it bramble's gonna be good against them since he's a big self healer atrox is a big self healer ra is a big self healer that's unfortunate i think we got a double kill bot side here they're going to be kind of lingering for dragon. They'll be floating around in river towards Lux, both of them. If they're not going to stay for the minions, they're both going to be like right there in river. So I'll avoid that. It's probably warded right there, I'd assume. Tri brush might be, but a little less likely to be. And yeah, it's drag fight right here. Got him with cleaver. Mm, Rom hurts. Nice. Okay, I'll go ahead and pop R now. This is free. I'm on Ghost and R. Oh, where you going, buddy? Q auto eat. And lots of heart stills here. We got three or four heart stills off that. That should be GG's. The game doesn't get any easier for your opponents when you're playing Mundo from this stage. Heart stills are already giving us well over 1100 health with its 900 base plus its bonus 246 we've gotten grass we've applied 22 times so 22 times 7 whatever the heck that is uh 154 permanent hp just off grass alone grass certainly gets heavily outscaled by heart still but at this stage in the game they're pretty similar grass isn't that far off from it for range champs the health is nerfed so grass isn't as good on range i think it's <laughs> like four health per proc. I think he's right here. He's mid or he's on this. He walks straight over. There's nothing else in the area. He takes scuttle. He's probably on this right now. Nope. Uh, I think he's in brand jungle. Yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. He's playing on tilt mode. Hey, friend. Auto E. He's actually a bit of an issue for me since he has bork that's what i'm talking about bork characters do give moon no issues so i'm going for thornmel you also can't go frozen heart versus eu because he's immune to both attack speed and movement speed cripples that's what league of legends uh technically refers to as movement speed or attack speed slows is there cripples they also don't refer to auto attacks anymore in ability language or item language they don't say auto attacks these days they say attacks it's very cool very good language auto e they know we're doing this there's nothing they can do about it. i'm healing really fast from passive window passive gives a fudge load of uh health regeneration plus obviously the uh, cc mitigator We'll back for Sunfire when we can afford it. I still have R though. There's no reason to back for now. Q auto E, get the splash. Oh, brand E's one tap in backline, my goodness. Or brand W, I should say. Boop. Wanna give me a heart still? She's not gonna let me. Oh, I'm actually dead here. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I agree, dude. I didn't think it was going to be all four of them. I thought I could get one or two heart stills and get out easily, but not quite. Huge Lux AoE going off there. She's probably going to end up dying for it if Aatrox gets reset. She needs to get away from the situation. She goes back in. Probably not worth it. She dies. She's got a big shutdown. Actually kills literally everybody. That was nasty. For some reason, they all want to fight Lux, even though she's thrashing them. Well played. Really nice ability angles there. She's using geometry. <clears throat> I don't think Lux is scripting. I think that was just really good ability placement. The way she walked through her E to angle him off. It's pretty good. Now, with that being said, it's not like the enemies played it crazy well. I mean, I think the enemies just kind of played it very low minimal default, but Lux played it particularly decent.
I need Thresh Lantern in that situation where they're dumping everything on us. He's eating 300 damage cleavers. Oh, I need Thresh Lantern here. Bad, dude. Bro, where are my Thresh Lanterns at? Holy crap. He's got him back here for whatever's going on over there. <clears throat> we can't really get away from them when there's five people on us. Too much CC. Aatrox displacements. We get an assist in the end. That's kind of cool. We did get some hearts still out of it, but still not really worth. R does heal you more for each nearby enemy champion, which is interesting. It's at rank 3, which we're not at right now. Dragon's up, so we'll go fight on Dragon. Although Mundo is a big scaler, he's not really a split pusher since he does tend to struggle to solo Bork soloists like Jax Irelia in the mid late game. That's why you, you'll normally see him in a team fight body block environment. This makes no sense. Just go for drags. We're chasing kills with no minions underneath the enemy turrets instead of just getting dragon for free. Lux has all the kills on our team. Alright, east top. Might be able to do something here. Boop. There you go, Braum. We're about to get gang banged again. We need Lux or someone to move up instead of being AFK and typing. So ideally, everyone stops typing on our team so Lux can stop standing still. Just well over half of the team's kills. When does my Herald end? I got 71 more seconds of it. He's on the split push. Let's take it mid. He wants to base race. They're on Baron. Who cares? We just end. Like instead of face checking and risking this. I missed the Q. Got W on. Auto Q. Pop R. Holy crap. I'm getting wrecked. He's going deep on our team. Yeah, we need to kill Yi here. You kind of panic. You should have definitely stayed on me there. Auto E, down he goes. Got the W off. Nice. That was just a forced fight. Should have stuck with the Herald. We already knew Yi was topside. They can't stop us 5v4 as we push up middle with Herald. Lux decided to face check some darkness when we had the pressure advantage. We moved to. Yeah, it is what it is. They really want to kill me here. Gets me at the root, takes off passive. Auto E. Got our Banshees. You line yourself up with the turret, I land Cleaver. Boop. Got the heart still. Try to hit a Felios. He didn't really move how I thought he would there. Thought he would be aggressive with me. Nice Lux kill. He land Cleaver as he kind of turns a little bit. He's trying to dash to his teammate. His teammate's leaving him out to dry a bit. Bone dry. Oh, here's Master Yi. Auto eat. Yeah, we use the bush to break vision. That way he's got to keep moving instead of just autoing us for free. And down he goes. He's two full items. He couldn't pinch it even when that's what the champion's built for, shredding tanks with his repeat on hit passive with the Bork Max Hold Shred per auto. Couldn't quite pinch. I have my R. I can solo Aatrox here. Big item advantage. I also have red buff. Oh, he's not even over here, dude. He ran away. We can go for Thornmel or we can start pushing for our damage items. Titanic and Sundered Sky are Mundo's best damage output items he can go for. Because they both give health, of course, and scale pretty well off of him. Sundered Sky because it's a free crit and Mundo gets a bunch of free AD from his E. So it's a big free crit. And the Titanic because it does scale 
uh, the damage it deals off your HP, so. Hmm, that hurt. She can eat that cleaver. Ari's still here on this wall. Oh, never mind. I want to reset. I'll TP back in. Oh, this is bad. This is a weird fight. This is a very odd fight. Hey, Aatrox. Boop. Goes for this. Boop. Down they go. That's GG's. A little bit of a weird supporting Mundo game. <laughs> Strange indeed. They don't want to FF because they have a Master Yi Braum. Whenever you see a, a Master Yi with a supporting type of support who can peel form, it's hard to throw in the towel on those type of games. I have 269 ADs. Zaya has 234. We have more attack damage than our AD carry. Even though we're both two full items and I, we didn't build any AD. It's just because we're getting 158 attack damage from our E. And that's GG's. Mundo, baby. Let's go ahead and look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were number three in the game. Somehow, Aphelios did more damage than Lux, and somehow I almost did as much damage as Lux, even though we were almost entirely assists. For damage taken, we taken the most in the game, not a big surprise there. Lots of HP. For self mitigated, we self mitigated the most in the game as well. Really good. Braum self mitigated a lot because mainly the support items, percent based damage reduction. We self mitigated a lot mainly through our W mitigation. Uh, and I guess Sunfire armor, plated armor, because as a whole, we hadn't really built that much armor or magic resist yet. So yeah, we almost did the most damage. We took the most damage, self mitigated the most, and for runes high value. All in all, Mundo is a decent pick. You have to play around his power spikes though, which is mainly level six and hard still. Once you hit that, you're in the driver's seat. Before then, you gotta play it slow. If you guys enjoyed this Mundo video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.